My name is Adrian Subtirica. I'm a firefighter with the London Fire Brigade. The dispute we're in at the moment, uh, we're in industrial action short of strike. It's all about change of working patterns. It's all about change of shifts. At the moment we're doing nine hour days and 12 hour nights, which are very manageable, very productive, and every target that we were set by the government, we not only met, but we exceeded. Management want to change it to 12 hour days and 12 hour nights. With the 12 hour shifts, I would have to wake up at about half five in the morning. I wouldn't be home till half nine at night. So when it comes to family friendliness, it's, it's not going to be very family friendly. I won't see kids for ages. According to the leaked email, there will be reduced fire cover at night. At least, according to this, uh, this paper that I've seen leaked in the press, at least 10 fire engines would disappear at London at night, which would have a huge safety implication. I think it's an agenda that's been going for a long time. They want flexible working hours. They want to reduce fire cover at night. There are stations that are very, very quiet at night and accountants think, oh, that's a really good saving. The, what, the only way to change contracts for five and a half thousand London firefighters to change the terms and conditions of our contract is to sack us and hire us under new contract. You can't change working hours with this contract. So what he's going to have to do is every single London firefighter is going to have to be sacked and employed under the new, under the new contract. So. In, I think we have until the end of November for all of us to volunteer to a new contract, which I don't think is going to happen. So in that case, everyone's going to have to be sacked, and if you want your job back, you can come back under a new contract. And there is absolutely no negotiations from management. Everything is in absolutes from the commissioner. It's like, these changes will happen, think about what you're doing, it won't make any difference. We're in industrial action, short of strike now, which means all the goodwill, if you want to call it that, is coming out. So there'll be no prearranged overtime, there's no hanging on to keep machines on the run. We will be short of personnel. We are short of personnel now, unless goodwill is involved, we are short of personnel. The ballot for industrial action, short of strike, had four and a half thousand, round, round about four and a half thousand people answering it, and 97% voted yes. I'm pretty sure that in excess of 90% of the firefighters in London disagree with our manager, with our chief. So I, I can't see how you can manage a team as large as we are when 90% of people disagree with you. I think the balloting for strike, the ballots have been sent out, they should be in the post. And according to the result of those, we're going to go on full strike. We're, we're public service, we're not there to save money, we're there to save lives. And Reducing fire cover is gonna is gonna in the end it's gonna end up with people getting hurt, if not worse.